All right, gang. Looks like we're almost to the mystery convention. Jinkies! I've been looking forward to this all year. Like, sounds fun. Real? Yeah, that's cool. Are you two still watching TV on my iPhone 20? The iPhone 20 is not even made yet. Well, it's not made for poor people yet. Like, hold on, Daphne. There's a lot of shows streaming on this app. Real? Yeah, we're just binge watching. Well, as long as you're just watching shows, don't scroll through my photos. There's a few pics in there I'm not proud of. Hey, Shaggy, um, I'm going to need to use that phone. I need to uh, make a phone call. Hold up, Fred. What's that ahead? Slow down. You're going to drive right into it. Oh, man. Daphne in a purple bikini. Huh? Oh, no! Like, what happened, man? Am I high or does everything look monochromatic? There's no color. Everything looks the same to me. Fred, how did you not see that giant glowing circle thing? I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. And send pics to Fred? Hey, there's no Wi-Fi. Or even phone service. Where are we? Forge and Zeers and a Great Dane. Known for solving mysteries of the humankind and the supernatural. Now they find themselves in a strange world. A world they have not yet explored. A fifth dimension, perhaps. A world that may be known as the Scooby-Doo Zone. Hey, who's that guy? Why, I don't see anyone. Scoob, did you get into my stash again? Did you find a signal or anything yet, Velma? No, still nothing. Like, take your time. Me and Scoob never get to sit in the front. Real? This is our van. Right, Raggy! There's a man on the side of the van! There's a ran on the side of the ran? You're just repeating yourself. Like a man? I don't see anyone, Scoob. Are you sure you didn't mess with my stash? Rikes! Pull over! Pull over! Scooby, there's no one there. This is why you always sit in the back. And it smells back here. Rats okay. I got something for his rats. <laughs> Scooby Doo, what did you do? What was that? A flare gun. He's gone now. Wait, there's another glowing circle up ahead. Maybe it'll take us out of here. Like everything's in color again. It's because I got high. You can thank me later. <laughs> what was that? What was what? I heard some rafter. Now you're hearing things? No more edibles for you, Scoob. <laughs> there it is again. More rafter. Well, Scooby does have better hearing than the rest of us. And maybe it's because we appear to be in a cartoon from the 70s, which had laugh tracks back then. Well, maybe I'll just keep driving until I see another glowing circle. No matter how long it takes, I'll keep driving. Jeepers! Can we pull over at the next stop? I think I need to change out my bra. Hey! Hey, hey, hey let's pull over right now! Right here! Right here! At this, at this second! At this place! <laughs> like, how the hell do you keep finding these places, Fred? Dude, Shag, Daphne really likes scary stuff. Why do you think we do this stuff? You're not going to get laid in a haunted house. <laughs> Leave this place now! Uh, ro ro okay, let's go. <laughs> like you heard the scary lady voice. Well, guys, we have to investigate it now. It might be our way out. I heard of a scaredy cat. But not a scaredy dog. You're still a rich. Yes, Scooby, I am still rich. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah.
she looked just like my Aunt Carol, which is a lot scarier because Aunt Carol used to look like me when she was my age. <laughs> I knew you were rich. This is definitely a mystery. Let's split up and look for clues. What the hell is wrong with you? She sounds like she will definitely kill us. Stop thinking with your dick, Fred. As much as I want to get laid in a cartoon, I'd rather get back to normal, which means we have to capture this creature. Which means me and Scoob are bait. Look, I'll buy you a pound of weed when we get back. Oh, monster! Where are you? <laughs> Rikes! Ready, ladies? Now let's see who she really is. Wow, she's really hot. I mean, for a girl, it's it's okay for girls to call other girls hot, right? <laughs> Why could you just leave? Like we can't! You trapped us in here! Fine, I'll fix this! She's still extremely hot. Uh, for, for a girl. Why did you make this world? I just wanted to be with my robot boyfriend. Yeah, okay, that that makes sense. I wasn't hurting anybody. I found an empty spot in the middle of nowhere. I made a big glowing force field so no one would enter it. Only an idiot would have kept driving. My bad. <laughs> 